check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. Brakes should not feel spongy or slack. Brakes should be tested as you set off. The vehicle should not pull to one side. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check that the engine has sufficient oil. This involves you opening the bonnet. You would check the oil level by removing the dipstick, wipe it clean of oil, dip it back in, removing it again and the oil should leave an oily mark between the maximum and minimum marker. If low then top up but do not overfill. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check that the engine has sufficient engine coolant. This involves you opening the bonnet. The coolant can be checked by looking at the max and min levels found on the expansion tank. Never open the coolant when it's hot. If levels are low, top up with the correct fluids for your vehicle. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. This involves you opening the bonnet. It can be checked by looking at the max and min levels found on the side of the brake fluid reservoir if low drop up with the correct fluid for your car. Where would you find the information for the recommended tire pressures, how should be checked? Tell the examiner that you would check and adjust all the tires including the spare tire. When they're cold with an air pressure gauge. Don't forget to refit the valve caps after. Tire pressure information can be found in the car manual or sometimes there's a sticker on either the driver's or passenger's door biller. How do you make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection? The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part is at least as high as your eye or top of the ears, and as close to the back of your head as comfortable. If you do need to adjust it, there's a little button at the side of the head restraint that you can press and then move the head restraint up or down. How would you check tires to ensure they have legal tread depth and that their condition is safe? You would check all the tires with a tread depth gauge. The tread depth should be no less than 1.6 millimeters across the central three quarters breadth of the tire. And you'd check this all the way around the tire. There also shouldn't be any cuts or bulges. On the outside of the tire wall. Tell me how you check that the headlights and tail lights are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. You turn the ignition on, turn the dipped headlights on, and then walk around the car to check that the headlights and tail lights are working. Tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti lock braking system ABS. You'd tell the examiner that if there was a problem with the ABS then the ABS warning light would stay illuminated when you start the car. Tell me how you check the direction indicators are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Tell the examiner that you'd press the hazard warning lights button, it's identified by a red triangle. Then you would walk around the car to make sure all indicators are working. Tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. Tell the examiner that you turn the ignition on, press the foot brake and either see reflections in windows or a garage door for example or ask someone to help and check the brake lights are working. Tell me how you check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. To check it's working, you can give the steering a little pressure as you start the engine. There should be slight movement as the power steering begins to operate. Also, as soon as you move off, you'll feel the steering is light to turn and not heavy. Tell me how you de-switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you'd use them. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Tell the examiner that you would use the rear fog light when you can't see further than 100 meters. You would firstly need to turn on the ignition, turn on the dipped headlights and then turn the switch shown in the image for the rear fog light. You would tell the examiner that you know it's on because you would see a warning light on the dashboard. Tell me how you switch your headlight from dip to main beam and explain how you know it is on. Tell the examiner that you would have to turn on the ignition. Turn on the dipped headlights. Push the stalk on the left towards the dashboard for the main beam. Explain to the examiner that this blue indicator light on the dashboard shows means the main beam is on.